Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com to talk uh, today to you a little bit about azithromycin. Uh, some of the frequently asked questions about azithromycin, we're going to touch on sun exposure, antacids, dairy, alcohol, and penicillin allergy. So first off, what is azithromycin or the most common form we see used in adults is the generic Z-Pack sold under the brand name Zithromax in the Z-Pack or Tripack. Tripack is a 500 milligram tablets, one a day for three days. The Z-Pack is six of the 250 milligram tablets, two the first day, one a day for four more days. Of course, it's used to treat or prevent an infection. It's a macrolide antibiotic in the family of antibiotics known as macrolides. Some of the more common infections it's used, it's used for respiratory infections, skin infections, tonsillitis, STDs, and, and many other infections. Those are just some of the more common ones we see. It's usually best with food um, because we can see some stomach upset with it. Uh, the, there's an extended release suspension called Z-Max. Actually, that should be taken on an empty stomach. But when we're talking about best with food, we're talking about the tablets. As again, those common side effects being nausea, vomiting, and stomach pain. All right, so what about sun exposure and azithromycin? Hypersensitivity to the sun is reported in less than 1% of people who take that. So it's not really considered a high risk. Um, it's always good to be mindful of sun exposure, however. You don't want to start your Z-Pack and go lay out in the sun all day. Um, you know, just if you're going to be out for extended periods of time, you should wear sunscreen, hats, you know, all that good stuff. So um, just be mindful. Um, it, not likely to happen, but there, there is, it has been reported. So keep that in mind. Uh, determine your own risk benefit there. What about antacids? Uh, it is best to avoid aluminum or magnesium containing antacids. So those are going to be like your chewable, kind of like your Tums. Um, or the liquid antacids, you're going to just want to avoid taking those at the same time as your azithromycin. So you can use them an hour before, a couple hours after, just not so they're hanging out in the stomach together at the same time. That's what we're looking for. This does not include acid reducers, things right, like uh, ranitidine, omeprazole, Nexium, Prilosec. Those are acid reducers. We're talking antacids, so mainly those chewables, Rolaids, Tums, and the liquid antacids. You can look at the active ingredients if they have aluminum or magnesium. Just don't take them at the same time. What about dairy? Dairy doesn't seem to have a big effect um, on the azithromycin. In fact, you know, food, as we talked about, can Im improve the tolerability. Um, so you could take that with some dairy if you want to. And again, we, we touched on this, but the extended release suspension should be on an empty stomach. So no dairy with that, but no any food with that one. What about alcohol? Alcohol and azithromycin? There haven't been any major interactions identified, but you know, if you're fighting off an infection, it's probably best to avoid uh, consuming alcohol, especially, especially to excess. So, um, you know, I, I would say limit um, and, you know, if you're at all uncertain, you can always ask your doctor, but uh, no, no major interaction has been identified with the alcohol and azithromycin. A penicillin allergy. Uh, if you're allergic to penicillin, do you have to worry about azithromycin? Well, as I mentioned earlier, azithromycin is a macrolide antibiotic. That's a different family altogether. No cross sensitivity has been identified, um, but that that doesn't mean you can't be allergic to it. You want to always, anytime you take an antibiotic or any medication for that matter, you want to watch for allergy symptoms. If you develop a rash or if you have difficulty breathing, um, those all could be indications of an allergic reaction. Uh, we want to be mindful of that. And if we do notice that, we should uh, contact our healthcare provider and determine whether they want us to continue it. But just because you have a penicillin allergy, um, that doesn't mean that you'll be allergic to azithromycin. They, they found no relation between uh, allergic to penicillin and allergy to it.
from my son. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this little uh, video useful. You remember, you always talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions or concerns about your medicines. If you think you're having side effects, something doesn't quite seem right, just uh, open up that dialogue with them, kind of catch things before they turn into problems. Remember, you should always finish your antibiotic. Uh, you shouldn't have some left over after you're done unless your doctor has told you to stop want to completely knock out that infection. And I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you found this information useful. Thanks for watching.